So in this video, we're gonna run through a quick review of copper CRM and determine whether or not copper or lead loft is the best CRM for your team. Let's dive into it. So this is copper. When you hop into it, it does have a really nice design. It's really straightforward and it's actually built like most CRMs. It has people, companies, and of course, pipelines. You might see people referred to as contacts and other CRMs. You might see companies referred to as accounts and other CRMs like Salesforce. And you can have deals for contacts or for companies here. And it's really straightforward and it is pretty clean and easy to use. So this is very similar to Leadloft. Leadloft is just easier. We group everything under a deal. So you can see here for Intercom, if I open up this deal, everything's included here. The company information, the contacts, etc. So in Leadloft, you just track deals. It's easier to use. It's a little bit simpler. And of course, Copper follows that traditional CRM structure of having contacts, companies, and a pipeline. Now let's talk about outreach automation. So in Copper, they do have automations. You can hop in here and create workflow automations, task automations, or email automations. So email automations here is how you actually run outreach. When it comes to automations, you can set up automations for people, companies, or pipelines. And you can trigger these manually or automatically. I can open one up here. I can scroll down. I can add other email steps. But that's really all it is. It's just email. It doesn't have any LinkedIn, calling tasks, etc. These are really just email automations. So it's a really simple tool. We'll just say a standard shared template here. There's an example of what that email template looks like. It's nothing special. And obviously, there's no LinkedIn or anything like that. If you compare this to the Leadloft, Leadloft has playbooks, which is quite a bit more powerful. And I'll open up our C-suite playbook here. You can see here we're running email automation, just like they are in Copper but we're also running outreach automation across LinkedIn as well with LinkedIn connections, LinkedIn messages. And you can even see we have tasks here. If you want to have tasks to say, hey, prospect another contact from the company. On top of that, you can also add calling tasks. We even have a feature called Bounce Shield, which verifies unverifiable emails and ensures that they are in fact real before you contact them. Usually you just place this at the top of your playbook and it guarantees that that email will not bounce because we verify it before we start contacting them. Also in Leadloft, we offer some really powerful prospecting automation. So if you want to run outbound outreach, you can by just clicking AI Prospector here, explaining who you want to go after, like VPs of sales located in California. And there we go. When you're ready, you just click continue and we'll build an audience for you. And then now you can build the playbook either by hand or with AI. We'll just go with AI and we'll just say we help companies reduce storage costs. There we go. And once you're ready, just click generate with AI. And then our AI will actually build out that entire playbook for you, meaning call tasks, tasks, bounce shield, etc. So it opens up the bounce shield here to verify that these emails are in fact valid. And this can verify catch all, which is tradi traditionally risky or unverifiable emails. And you have this first email and of course it's personalizing this, this outreach as well. Follow ups, LinkedIn outreach, call steps. We'll go ahead and use this playbook. It looks really solid. So this is a really powerful feature of Leadloft that builds these playbooks. And the way this works with the AI prospector is it's gonna go contact by contact, company by company, making sure that they match this description. If they do, we'll prospect them, find their contact information, verify it in real time, and then enroll them in this playbook. And to execute all of that, you just have to click start playbook and our AI takes care of the rest. Now let's go back to Copper here for a moment. The next thing that Copper does that is really impressive is reporting. Unfortunately, I do need to upgrade to their business plan in order to get access to this. So just keep that in mind when you're deciding between what tool you'd like to use. And the last thing to cover here is that Copper does offer email tracking. Leadloft offers the same, but what's even more powerful is Leadloft actually offers tracking across both LinkedIn and email. So anytime you have a conversation going inside your deal, we're gonna sync not only email communication, but we're also going to be syncing LinkedIn communication. So your entire team's communication with a single lead appears here. So it's really easy to see what's going on between your team and that lead. And the one last thing I'd like to show is the fact that Copper is really useful. However, it doesn't have powerful prospecting features like Leadloft. For example, if I open up LinkedIn with Leadloft and we do a quick search for VPs of sales in LA, you can see there's a bunch of contacts with this blue save button. If we click save, we'll actually save them to Leadloft's dashboard immediately. So if I open it up here, I can select a segment. We'll say main VCs. I can even select a playbook here if I want to automatically engage them. And if you have a playbook here, we call it our one click engage feature. You click save, we find contact information and automatically begin engaging them. For now, I'll leave it as none. Let's save a few contacts here just to see how it works. We'll hop back to Leadloft, go back to our pipeline, and you'll see them appear at the top here. 
If I open up Express Capital, Vice President of Sales, you can see his email has been discovered. And that green bubble indicates it's been verified as well. So you can actually use Lead Law for prospecting outreach, which is far more than just a traditional CRM. Of course, Leadloft offers everything you need when it comes to pipeline tracking, et cetera, but it also offers really powerful outreach features if your team needs something like that. So that's my review of Copper CRM. It's a really simple and easy to use CRM. If you really just need a basic CRM, Copper CRM is a good option. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit more powerful with prospecting features, AI outreach, and includes email automation and LinkedIn automation, then LinkedIn's obviously the superior choice here. Anyways, hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to my team. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.